What's up guys, welcome back to Cheap Thrills. I'm your host, Nico. I'm Deja. Today, we're at the Waitley Diner, the famous 24-hour diner. And this week, we're rating the three best late night diners in the area to see who really has the best late night food. Let's go take a bite. Let's wait for Tucker. Alright, so we definitely gotta try some breakfast, right? Mm. To give the people what they want. Pancakes, right? Pancakes are a breakfast classic. Yeah, I mean like waffles are better, but I'll take pancakes. I guess like a burger too, right? Like those are kind of classic -y. Yeah, it's really cheap. I think I'm gonna get some mozzarella sticks. Yo, I, the mozzarella sticks are good. Get the mozzarella sticks. Okay. So burger, mozzarella sticks, and like one pancake, right? Chocolate Just chocolate, one pancake. Blueberry or apple yeah, juice. Uh, tastes great. Watch this, watch this. so good. Uh, Is it like chili? I didn't. Very hot. But it comes with meat sauce, which is sick, yeah. and the mozzarella sticks here are actually like really gas. Yes. And They're the like meat really sauce good. is like a, it's like a chili. Yeah. And it has like little peppers in it. It's very good. Muy delicioso. Wait, 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 wait. You have a syrup with your pancakes? No, no, don't get it on my pancakes. No. You know what? Listen. Syrup is a sin. Syrup on pancakes? Syrup yeah. is a sin? Pancakes are savory, bro. Alright. These hit. This is good. <laughs> this is a fantastic flapjack, if you will. All right, fries are solid. Oh, the fries are really good. Thoughts on the fries? I don't Entirely mediocre, but in a fantastic way. So, our check came to 22.68, which is pretty good for the amount that we got. And the uh, coffee was two dollars ten. Two small juices were two dollars. A single pancake was ninety nine cents. Yo. Um, mozzarella sticks were five ninety nine. Cheeseburger was eight twenty nine, and that's most of what we had. Uh, and yeah, it came up to twenty two. It's mostly really cheap, except for the burger. But like. So it makes sense, but everything else is really cheap. Honestly, price point, a cheap thrill. A cheap thrill, if you will. If you will. All right. Let's get on out of here. Get to our next diner. See you guys later. It makes sense, yeah. They gave us a whole booth in the back. Right now, we're at Johnny's Diner after coming from the Waitley Inn, or Waitley Diner, rather. Since we called the head, they're actually preparing some special food for us for like photography, and so that's what we'll be eating, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very similar to what we had at the Waitley Diner. Oh wait, yeah, you can compare the apple juice. Oh, that's facts. <laughs> Let me remember what yesterday tasted like, okay? I, I remember. This apple juice is really good. It's like better than yesterday. Chocolate, and here's a strawberry. Thank, Thank you. you. These are kind of ridiculous. <coughs> so they surprised us with a waffle. Mm. Okay, so back to the oh waffle. Oh my gosh. Phenomenal. I mean, I'm a waffle person anyways, but this is really good. It kind of tastes healthy, but Dude. like good healthy. Whoa, all right. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah. It's a whole. I love mashed potatoes. You did? That is an entire turkey. I, sh sh I need to review something a little bit. Okay, so this Reuben, I don't know if that side's actually really good. This bread is toasted really well. <clears throat> like, really well. The fries are also phenomenal. It's they have weightly be eaten the fries, I'm gonna be honest. So you've never had <clears throat> Benedict, right? I've not. Does this have mayonnaise in it? Oh I my don't god, know. it's an uncooked egg. No, it's not, it's poached. So it's yolk. I'm gonna get salmonella, okay. Ready? Wait. You hate this? You don't <laughs> like egg benedict? I don't like egg benedict. Since I know eggs benedict, this is a really solid eggs benedict. Imagine my name benedict. Um, the burger has onion rings. Uh, is that bacon? That is bacon. Looks thick cut. A burger, onions, and cheese, and lettuce. And that's I think the cheddar. Western burger. Probably cheddar. cheddar. Yeah, probably cheddar. Oof. It's literally falling apart. That's how much is in it. Okay. Want to take the first bite? No, you can go. Okay. 
That's very hard to take by a version. But it's really good. Oh my god. That's actually really good. Mm. That's a lot of food in one bite. That is a lot. But it's really good. I truly think that's the second time ever in my life I've ever taken a second bite of a burger. That's really good. Okay, the classic Benedict, which was 12 bucks, which is pretty decent for what it is. That's what Benny is. For the sandwiches, what is the Reuben? Okay, Reuben's also 12 bucks, pretty solid. Um, they gave us the Western, Western burger, right? Burger. 12. Also 12 bucks. And then the turkey dinner, turkey dinner is 15. And then shakes, milkshakes are 6 bucks. And... Oh, waffles. One, 750. 750. 750. Okay. So when all said and done, price to dollar wise here, it's a little bit more, but it's really not ridiculous. It's like a very moderately priced diner. Plus and it's open the, pretty late. Huh? It's open pretty late, so you yeah. can come here and eat all the time. And breakfast is all day. Breakfast all day here. I think it's open till like 10, maybe 11 on weekdays. Pretty solid place. Yeah. I like it. And it's very pretty and it's very classically, it's all very cute. Yeah, no, I the like ambiance, the mise-en-scene, as Stephen Aldrin would say, as Stephen would say, uh, it's phenomenal, and I think we had a great time and a great experience with excellent customer service, mm. and... Yeah, thank you for treating us like celebrities and giving us all of these foods. Yeah. <laughs> Any final thoughts before we head out to our last diner? This was all great. I would rate all of it above a 7 out of 10, at least. Um, I really enjoyed the waffle, because they're better than pancakes, and everything else was great. We'll catch you back at the last location. So we're here at the Blue Bonnet, who is open till I think 10 p.m. on weekdays, and we're gonna try some, try some of their uh, specialties out. Definitely a change in ambiance already, though. The lighting yeah, isn't true. quite as interesting, I guess I could say. Um, it's like old people couture. <laughs> the Lucky Burger is kind of their burger. I guess we should try that. The Lucky Burger. Yeah, so like burger. Uh, waffles. Oh, never mind. They don't have waffles at night. It's okay, so upsetting. I guess we're going to be trying the pancakes. So, yeah. Um, do we we'll have check back in when the food comes. Oh, do we want to try the mozzarella sticks? Kind of. Okay, Apple Juice Review. All right, back. We're back to Deja's Apple Juice Review. Um, this is Tropicana. It's straight from the bottle. So, it's not, you know. It's, it's not that gourmet. Not that gourmet. But I'm sure it'll be, it'll be good here, folks. You know, as always. Let me try this. Tropicana doesn't disappoint. Um, the really good apple juice at Johnny's Roadside Diner you know may be better, but I always appreciate a good Tropicana. Oh, pretty low cheese test. Oh, it kind of looks like a cheetah. Oh, that's a good cheese test. These are good. These are very much like Picture how mozzarella sticks taste and how they feel. These are them. They're just classic. Like They're just classic mozzarella sticks. Three butters or two butters? I, I say three go, butters. Go three. Go three. I'll see. I want some ketchup. For your pancake? <laughs> no, but that sounds kind of gas. I will say the pancake does look relatively. McDonald's E. <laughs> it looks like McDonald's S. breakfast. Ask. Pancake special. The first like flapjacks? Yeah. No? Yeah. Compared to what we had last time. It's a pancake. Yeah, it's a pancake. Just like the mozzarella sticks for mozzarella sticks, this pancake is indeed a pancake. I just wish it was crispier, but that's just a preference. I Honestly, have. this is a pretty good pancake. At first, I was like a pancake, but all the food we had, the burger, the fries, and the mozzarella sticks, and the pancake, I wouldn't necessarily say any of it is stellar or below par. It just sits <laughs> at this fine line of like solid mediocrity that's worth it if you're in the mood. So, I got a coffee. 239 apple juice 229 cheese sticks 759 pa one pancake was four bucks and uh the cheeseburger was 12 bucks for a total of uh 30 23. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very very high priced compared to our other places but it was still pretty good honestly it was it was very impressively mediocre it wasn't stand out in any significant way nor was it necessarily bad in any way it is what it is it's the yeah. blue bonnet it's uh and they're open till like 10 so if you really want some pancakes late at night it's not a terrible option in order best to worst best three places we went to uh i would say johnny's waitley and then blue bonnet not that it's bad but i like the other two places Honestly, same. Johnny's, the amazing service, the ambiance, the food, 
it was the most standout-ish. The Waitley Diner coming in a close second, being open 24 hours, great food, great service, local hotspot. Blue Bonnet was just eh. I'm unimpressed. Hey, hey guys. Oh, Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Vegan Jay, bro? That's crazy. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for following us from El Conolito to... Uh, we didn't actually end up doing Cumbies. Uh, pizzas? We did pizzas. The art in Orchard. Art in Orchard. Art in the Orchard. That was so good. Bringing Almost. House of Teriyaki. <laughs> it was great. Thanks for yeah. watching. Yeah. We really enjoy you watching. We'll probably be back for a season two if they fund us. Fun cheap thrills. Fun cheap thrills. We should start a PayPal. Go fund me, Venmo, Tucker Dash SM. You know, none of this, <laughs> none of this is gonna go in. Oh yes, it is. Thank you guys. Um, first of all. Oh my god.